Hello dudes and dudesses. Today I'm going to show you this small circuit here that I believe will be one of the most common and used circuits in the game after the crafter arrives. I call it a compressor. I don't know if that's the official name yet, but what it does is it compresses items into blocks. Basically everything that needs nine items to be a block can be compressed in this circuit. And then I will show you how to set it up in a farm, in every farm that it's basically the same. And I will show you a quick uh, uncompressor as well. And then I will show you some neat bonus circuits at the end of the video. This circuit here, it's a very, very simple circuit. And what it does, it basically compresses everything that you see in my hotbar and probably some other stuff that I have forgotten. If I put in a stack of bamboo, it will go down here into the crafter. You can see it needs nine and it pushes out blocks of bamboo right there. It does exactly the same with, for instance, redstone. As you can see here, it puts in nine items, made it into a block and pushes it out here. Now these are the easy blocks, these blocks right here, and it of course also does nuggets into ingots, both iron and gold, uh, and raw copper into iron uh, copper ingots. But these are all simple items because they only have one crafting recipe. Uh, gold, however, and iron and copper actually have several. Iron, if we take that, will have uh, two other recipes on the way. It will have pressure plate and it will have an uh, iron fence. But if we put in these down here, well, take out that, you can see it presses, it compresses them all. Even though you can see it actually shows the other recipes right here, it doesn't execute on them. It waits till it full and it makes an iron block. This actually has four because it has ingots and it has pressure plates and it has the iron bars but it makes them all into iron blocks. And the same goes for gold. It doesn't have that many recipes, but it does have nuggets and it does have pressure plates, but they are no match for this small system. So how does this work? It's actually quite simple. We have the auto crafter and it's pointing into this chest, of course. And then we have some kind of input device like a hopper right here. You have this comparator which measures how many items are in the crafter presently. And it makes an output right here. Right now, this one is making an output of one right here. And, and then we have another crafter right here, but we have uh, disabled the slots. So it actually only registers when there's nine. There's an output of eight right here, which means that right now when there's nothing in here, or if we put one thing in here, this observer doesn't observe it. It only observes it when it gets to nine because that is one higher than is over here. When that happens, it changes the state of this copper bulb right here. So it actually goes off and turns on a torch which uh, fires the crafter. This needs to be on when you start the small circuit. And that's basically all there is to it. And it will work with, as I said, all items. It never fails, and that's because of the timing of it. Now, this, of course, is very, very useful in a lot of farms. For instance, imagine you have an iron farm and you don't want to have a huge storage. So instead of having ingots, you can automatically have it stored as iron blocks. Or if you, for instance, have a gold farm where you have nuggets coming out and you have gold ingots coming out, but you only want to have it stored as gold blocks. And that's basically what I've set up over here. This, as you can see, is exactly the same circuit as over there. And on top of that, I have put an Impulse SV item sorter with uh, overflow protection. And I have set it up to sort for gold ingot. And this one I have set up to sort for gold nuggets. So you have to imagine that there's a row of hoppers going this way where the chests are, or maybe perhaps there's an ice road or waterway, whatever. You need to put, to push the items around in your farm. And when it gets to here, it uh, drops down here and down to here and gets crafted and spit out here. 
and the nuggets they go down here gets crafted but as you can see they point into this hopper right here which puts it into this crafter right here and even though this comes at another speed than this it still works uh, flawlessly let me just demonstrate and I will put in some here and I will put in some here you will see that this will be crafting gold blocks <laughs> as it does right there and if we go over here you can see that this is indeed crafting ingots pushing them over here I don't know if we actually can see them we can and they go in here so the ingots come in from this side and this side and all together they're just sorted as blocks right here as I said this is probably how most players will definitely use the crafter when it comes out. If you're part of my Discord community, you know that I've shown these uh, already. And if you're not, why not? No, seriously, why not? And this was actually because someone asked, how about when you have the compressor and you want to uncompress it? For instance, you want gold to a bartering farm. Well, this is a small, very fast uncompressor. Basically, what you do is you put stuff in here and you want it compressed quickly like this. You put it in here and then you have this and you can see it makes, in this case, ingots very, very fast. But I did uh, promise you some uh, small bonus circuits in this video as well. And what we have here is a manual shulker box crafter. It's like a shulker box on demand. In here we put uh, oak locks or whatever locks. And in here we put, well, they're all down here. We put shulker shells. So shulker shells going down here, oak locks going down here. The oak locks are made into planks right here, like that. And then they're pushed into here, like that. And this is a pre-made recipe, so it comes in from both sides. So basically what we do when we need a shulker box, is just put the button like this and we have a shulker box. Now, if you want to automate this and you want to have it like, for instance, in connection with a shulker box loader, then you only want to take out shulker boxes when they're needed. And that's what uh, this small system here does. As you can see, again, we have the locks. They go in and make uh, blocks and planks right there. And then they go in here and they make chests and they go over here. And again, we have shulker shells right here. But the difference is that because the way we've set it up, we have this chest uh, right here or this barrel. And if you had some kind of locked hopper underneath or you have something that was full and then it was emptied when something was used, then every time you take out one, it produces another. So very simple system that I think will become very useful as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as you can see in this world, I have a lot of ideas for different uh, circuits that you can build with the crafter and the uh, copper bulb. Behind me, you see a system that works very very well with the uh, auto crafting kilt farms it uh, self-sustained and it has a better or totally correct split of 45 percent to the smelting new uh, kilt blocks and the other 55 percent going to storage or to your super smelter and i will show this in the next video i think but i have a lot of other ideas uh, around here so hang on new videos coming soon bye <laughs>